Um, yeah. No, that's fine. Um, so, uh, bu- 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 so how's your day? It's been all right. I just finished a workout, so I am gassed. Oh, it's I know I'm your workout about, like? Uh, I was just doing deadlifts. I was doing three sets of six on 225 kilos. Oh, that's it. Yeah, Beltless, it's ta- oh man, it's killing oh, me. Oh yeah, oh, oh my goodness, two twenty five for six is killing you. Killing me, it is. It's killing me. This week of training has been tough. been tough. You know, you know how many kids around the world, how many athletes around the world would fucking be so jealous of you for saying that right now? Not just the fact that you can, uh, like, it's two twenty five, which is more than like eighty percent, seventy percent of the population's in one RM, but like for six reps and at this time. But that's, that's my problem, I don't know, problem or is that a benefit? Because I'm surrounded by guys that do more than that, I, I don't see it as anything special, you know what I mean? So so it's an inferiority complex then? It is very, to, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. Great to have so, that yeah. kind of an inferiority complex where you're deadlifting 225 for 6, well, Jesus well, Christ. Well, only pushes you to get better, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. It doesn't break you, only makes you stronger, right? So you, unlike other people, don't have a lack of equipment. So how many how many red plates do you have right now? Uh, 12, 12 red plates. 12, 12 red plates. Kilos. And and yep. what do you go up to right now? What What's your total weight you can go up to? Um, All plates? I think I can actually go up to, I worked out at 390 I can go up to. Jesus, three. Like including adding some kettlebells on top and, and whatnot. But, yeah. so we're gonna see a we're gonna see a under one hundred five world record anytime soon. Mm, let's see, let's see. It's definitely the strongest I've been. You know what we should do? <clears throat> what? We should do something called the COVID records. The COVID records. Yeah, the COVID records. Like people doing shit at home that can be like COVID, like world records. Like how you had Guinness World Book of Records. We can have the COVID so, records. Sounds very familiar. That's what we're trying to do. Well, I'm, ta- I'm talking about at home COVID records. I'm not talking about some like crazy shit that, you know, some people come up with and they throw a ton of money at athletes to do like randomly f- massive weights. No, I wouldn't mean that, to be honest. <laughs> um, so you go up to 390, right? And your training's going full swing. You're killing it we're seeing it every day um on the interweb and uh your new youtube channel um has your training changed uh any way in this time or you're still uh not necessarily like i've kept all the obviously i'm a big believer in compound movements so they're still the same but all the accessory work let's say uh they're a little bit different it's a bit more body weight orientated um uh, working on stability, mobility, isometric stuff. So obviously I don't have access to machines, so I'm using my accessories more body weight and lighter, a lot lighter. How much do you weigh right now? 100, 100 kilos. So it's, I'm actually quite light. You are me. quite light and, and you've gone down in weight, right? When? Recently, I mean, yeah, I went down. Since, since, yeah, like, you still look jacked as jack mother. Yeah, I dropped down to about 90 kilos and then I came back up to 100. So, But my aim is to stay around 100 and hit a four times body weight. Four times body weight deadlift? Yeah, yeah. None of this under 105 world records where they weigh in 24 hours at 105 and then go and lift it at 150. Tomorrow, yeah, and then they're like 112 and like, yeah, yeah. yeah. bullshit. Um, if anything, they should be just fair, like and weigh in and go and fuck deadlift right away well that's my plan is to deadlift and then walk on to a set of scales so that's how it's done that's how a weight class should be 100% um, for this is something that uh, I know that a few people would be asking questions uh there is uh, you. You are an inspiration to a lot of people in the industry, um, especially in the strongman community. You have a ton of people training under you and with you. Um, uh, what would be a few strongman uh, tips and tricks that you would uh, like the guys around to incorporate into their training 
right now because a lot of people are uh, suffering from the lack of uh, equipment unlike yourself um, but what could people what could people do uh, to train for strongman in this uh, break what would be your recommendation so the, like obviously people are not going to have access to weights so I wouldn't go and improvise with heavy weights and, and do let's say daft things and trying to build the strength right now because you're just going to get injured or you're going to break stuff. Um, so so, so, so you, you don't recommend shoulder pressing your sofa or bicep curling your sofa? No, definitely not. Def- definitely <laughs> not. You're, just a- you're asking for trouble. Um, <laughs> but I think, and this is something that I believe in outside all of this palava is working on strongman conditioning. Now is the perfect time for that. Um, so you can do more higher rep work, uh, more timed work, Uh, focusing on speed a bit of endurance rather than basic compound strength Um, because right now it's yeah you need the equipment to do that and if you don't have the equipment you can't do it right yeah what are you going to do I mean yeah you you can but you're not going to get full benefit and it's much better to do the conditioning work yeah, you you mentioned something yesterday when 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 we were when we were having a chat about like uh, training with your rucksack, and like uh... yeah, yeah, just improvising with sort of lighter bits of equipment, filling up a rucksack, using it as a sort of sandbag carry, or um, even go to the extent of using like um, those sort of robust shopping bags. What are they call again? Uh, it's like they're uh, recyclable bags. We reusable yeah, bags. Yeah, even even using them, filling them up, using them as a farmer's walk or a suitcase carry. Um, so yeah, they're they're sort of working on your carrying events. It's going to work on your heart, your lungs, the conditioning side of things, which is so important in strongman, especially nowadays as well. That's amazing. But uh, I mean, that's that's something really really cool that you just mentioned. I mean, the rucksack. I, I mean, ton. I'm sure everyone has a. Uh, a duffel bag or a backpack lying around somewhere they can just fill it up with whatever they find go to the weighing scale weigh it and they know what weight they're lifting and i mean that's i think something that you've uh that we've noticed that you've done with the strongman competitions in the past that you know the implements are never evenly structured they're always uh and we just recently saw it as well at the arnold's that stuff is not evenly cut or symmetrical yeah. when you're when yeah. you're lifting stuff so this this kind of like ties into that or plays into that like you don't know what shape it's going to be. Um, that is the beauty of Strongman. It is not a fixated implement or weight most of the time. Everyone's been tested on new equipment. Everyone's using different equipment. Home gym equipment is different to the competition equipment. So we are a, a very adaptive sportsman, let's say. That's or true. athletes. You know, it's just... Uh, did I send you the video where the guys... Uh, there, someone found an ingenious way to use a rower where he's like sitting on a skateboard. He's got bands around a pole. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah, was yeah. that's ingenious too. Like finding finding ways to like work out with bands. Yeah, uh, but I would say there is a line. There is a line. Yeah. Does does he really need to be sat on a skateboard and and do? Okay, yes, he's working rowing, but what what else is he gonna work on? How what else is he gonna sit on? He doesn't. He can. He can stand and roll. Doesn't necessarily well, need to be. That's well, yeah, what I mean. But you're asking. You're asking for trouble when you've got four or five things that are bucksy set up, and people who don't have the experience of doing this. And, and that's where you see how it goes wrong. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's the thing. You're asking for trouble. I think. <laughs> well, people are getting creative. Let's put it that way. Um, Creativity is great, but uh, safe innovation. Yeah. I'd love to see the ultimate like fail videos right now that are going on. Oh yeah, it's going to be rich. It's going to be a ton. Um, so in your downtime, like, do you have any downtime, or you're hustling uh twenty four seven right now? And you're taking advantage um, of this. A bit of a mix. Um, obviously we are focusing on World's Ultimate Strongman and building our new concept. Uh, I'm a big believer in the wheels got to keep turning even although everyone's coming to a standstill now it sort of forced us we've always been creative but it's forced us to be more creative and more innovative on how we 
are going to do the sports events because at the end of the day everything has been cancelled right now but Strongman is ingeniously placed where it's a single man event it's not a team event doesn't need to involve social distancing feats of strength are a spectacle and it's very much a spectator sport so that's why we've came up with the concept of live streaming feats of strength and world record breaking events so that's what that's, I've been doing is fo- focusing on that really that, um, that's, that's, that's pretty forward. cool like I'm, I, you know the word's been going around and I think you know people are super super excited um you know they're tired of the uh, the the Amazon Primes and the Netflix and the reruns of shows day in and day out, um, and I'm pretty sure the millions of viewers who listen to our podcast and watch uh, our Instagram pages um, are all <laughs> are also super excited to tune in. But uh, billions can, can, and uh, billions. the billions and billions. Can we can we talk more about? Um, can we talk more about the the live stream? So I mean, uh, the word's been going around. You guys have been posting stuff. Uh, we know that there's a live stream coming up, uh, something to do with Half Thor, uh, Tom, and Luke. Uh, can you speak a little bit more yeah. about that? And we just announced Novikov tonight, so uh, I'm allowed to say that. So um, yeah, we're, we're, we've sort of spoken with the athletes, and we want to keep the athletes involved, keep the athletes training, and basically we have put together a strength feat series where select athletes will be performing a world record um, obviously the guys have been preparing and this is the season for strongman yeah and it's gone dead so we want to keep keep the 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 plate hot let's say um, so yeah we've got Thor doing the world record deadlift we've got Luke Stokeman doing the log press Tom Stokeman doing the Atlas stone breaking his own record uh, Novikov going for the giant dumbbell for reps and we have Several more lined up in terms of, let's say, more more uh, of the top class athletes and female athletes as well. Ah, interesting. Um, all right, so I know you're not going to give me more information. Uh, we've I've tried to pry it out of you, but you're not going to give me more information. But can we can we at least know how many other uh, let's say demonstrations of the feats of strength can we expect to see in the next few months wow like you've yeah, announced exactly. four you've announced four yeah I would say we've got at least ten so far Jesus it's fucking epic and what's your what's your what's your viewership that you're expecting um, I, it's something I can't talk about but uh, we're looking up to about 85 million viewers Jeez. Christ. And people are pe- people are people are gonna. It's a free live stream, uh, coresports dot world, right? Yep. Yep. Um, yep. And you guys start airing with the big deadlift, the big five hundred one, right? On May second. Yeah, 2nd? that's the big one. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah. Half Thor is ready. Yeah. Half Thor is ready. Um, I don't know if you saw it, the four forty kilos for three reps. That's that's most of the guys. Yeah, and like and, uh, and and he had and he had how many in the tank? Two more in the tank. Probably just, yeah, two or three more. Yeah, it was just a, it was just a warm up to him. So that five hundred one is coming down. Yep, coming down. Is. How's Eddie feeling about that? <laughs> I'm sure everyone's seen it. Eddie, Eddie is. Um, hmm, what's the best way to describe it? Eddie is reeling for and. Yeah, Eddie's Eddie's been Eddie. He's just chirping. If you look, if, if, yeah, yeah. If you look, if you look at Arnold, Arnold used to do the same with his athletes yeah. to sh- yeah. well, the, the guys that he competed against. Yeah, just to sort of uh, push their buttons a wee bit. Um, <laughs> it's it's yeah. gonna it's gonna make for some good drama. Yeah, he's definitely pushing some buttons. So, and Tom's all set, and uh, what his uh, previous record is what uh, two seventy three. Yes, yeah, yeah, a nice and, number. And what's Luke going for? Uh, the low press record. So Big Z's previous record was two twenty eight. I think. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, Luke's going he's for. Going to try and break that. Two thirty, two thirty one, I think. Mm. Hmm. Very nice. Very nice. Um, 
so this is some exciting stuff to to that 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 we can look forward to in the in the in the future. That's uh, pretty cool stuff, man. Um, uh, where can people find more information about the uh, live stream? Uh, we'll be announcing it on uh, the social media pages, so like Instagram, um, on the World's Ultimate Strongman Instagram. I'll be announcing it. Um, I'll probably do an overall review on YouTube where I announce everything that's happening yeah. when, we've, when we've actually put it all together. So, uh, yeah. I, f- I forgot you are a YouTube sensation these days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, your, to- oh, your toilet roll workouts, I, I, I watched that. I must say that was hilarious. Yeah, that was... Uh... And that little squeaky duck made it even more worthwhile. Well, Gen Strong Media, very... Uh... <laughs> Well put together, Ben. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta, we gotta give some uh, uh, what you might call it, uh, shame, shameless credit. advertising, right? Yeah, shame, shameless advertising. Oh, it's um, not shameless it's credit. Credit where credit. Uh, what are what's news on the course that you were putting together? So this is just something that uh, I wanted to ask you yesterday, but I, I didn't. Uh, I, I know that there is quite a few people that actually attended your uh, your course. Um, and then you're starting to work on a book or like a manual, but what's the update on that? Can we expect it to be released anytime soon? Because a lot of us are waiting to read it. Yeah, so hopefully within the next week, um, I'll be able to release it. Um, it's just being finalized, all the design parts of it. It's something I've actually wrote for, I think it's, it's been two years and like in the making of putting it all, all together. So it'll be good to get the sort of first editions out. I've got the obviously the basic edition and then the athletes edition. So the basic edition will come out and it's just basically eight strongman compound movements that will benefit your training, uh, whether that you're doing strongman or not. Um, I'm a big believer in strongman movements being beneficial for our general population to professional athletes, whether it's an MMA fighter or a rugby player or a strongman himself. So. Let's see. Within the next week, hopefully. That's cool. I mean, I, if, you, if you look at it, like, I, I'm just thinking about it, like, strong men would be probably the most closely relatable to everyday life uh, when it comes to movements as ever. Like, when you have yeah. uh, just lifting stuff off the ground, you have... The, 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 only, problem, the only problem with strong men is uh, people see it as... For freaks. Uh, yeah, yeah, as a freak, like a freak, a freak sort of feat of strength. And, but if you break that down to the basics and focus not on the weight, at the actual movement itself, then it is suitable for everyone. It is, it's a great conditioning. It's a great um, like muscular endurance, strength workout. No, I, I totally yeah. agree. Now, now that I think about it, I'm like, you know, this, yeah, this time, like that makes the most sense, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, stuff that they're doing um, pulling a car I mean that's what you got to do every day right when your car doesn't start you just give it a little push and <laughs> yeah. jump start the... yeah. yeah well anyways Mark this is uh, that's all the time we have today we want to keep this short and sweet for IGTV if there's anything you would like to add uh, as uh, closing remarks mm, stay safe and stay strong please don't give me one of your jokes <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm uh, satisfied um, why did the what chicken cross the road? I don't know. He did. He just stayed at home. Okay. <laughs> doesn't 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 chickens stay in pens? Pen. <laughs> it depends. I just have to keep jokes, making. You really need to Google these jokes before you tell them. I love the aspect of just you not even smiling at them. No. I think that no. makes it. I mean, I think is that is that other people smiling? <laughs> is other people smiling? Am I the only stern? I'm allowed to swear. I think. Can I swear? I think. Can you, I think. Ben, yeah, can you put yeah. beeps in? Like, I, Am I, I the I only was, stern? I, I, listen, listen. Uh, I think they're not laughing with me, they're laughing at me. So it's fair enough. Oh, they yeah. laugh. They actually laugh. They, they laugh. They laugh at me uh, for my stupidity uh, rather than laughing with me on the joke. Mm-hmm. I think I that's know. more harsh than just not laughing. I'm just losing my mind. What are you going to do? I'm, I'm straight up. I'll tell you it's not funny. Yeah, I know. It's not funny. It's funny to me. And that's all that matters. Remember? <laughs> Love yourself. Oh, 
Love yourself, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah well, uh, Mark, thank you so much for uh, chatting with us. Um, I will speak to you soon. And yeah. uh, you take care and be safe and stay strong. And uh, remember, this too shall pass. Inshallah. Inshallah. Peace. Inshallah. Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Take care. See you later. See you, bud.